Uh, kia ora tato and aroha mate. No funny poor ties tonight, just this federal one that I've got on here. But um, day 48, and yesterday we talked about Ngā Kua Te a little bit more in depth and who those four kuata were that Ratana selected. I um, want to cover a little bit more around Eruera Tirikatini. Eruera Tirikatini yep, he's the man. He was the first one out of the four kuata to make his way into parliament. And being the kuata that sat within the Rohe of Tilmika, well I guess that was relevant for him to get through first. Um, but yeah, 1928, Ratana's chosen kuata. They have a crack at um, government and they weren't successful. They regather themselves, put on a bit of a stronger campaign. 1931, they give it another crack and they were unsuccessful again. So at this time, you know, Ratan is feeling a little bit depressed, a little bit disappointed, kind of asking himself, well, if the people don't want this, uh, what's the point? Um, and then something interesting happens. Um, Tuiti Mikitanara passes away in 1932, which then forces a snap election. And through that, Eruera Tirikatini gets in. And so it's party time again. Everyone wants to have ratana and um, kind of gets a bit more reinvigorated with the kaupapa and starts to drill down in politics again. And so, I, Eruera Tirikatene, he's the first to kind of get into politics. And later on in, in the couple of years to follow, um, the others make their way in too. So, Eruera Tirikatene makes his way in 1932. Ratana points to Praere Paikea and tells Praere Paikea well you bro you go in there follow Eruera Tirikatini you're going to be his secretary you're going to be the eyes, eyes and ears and while you're in there you're going to be learning how the game works. In 1938 um, Praere Paikea makes his way in there but what's also interesting and I alluded to that in yesterday's video is that um, there are a few interesting things that take place in this time and one of the things was Eruere Tirikatene he was raised in a situation where um, the real was smacked out of him and so he went into this arena not having his real so Ratana prayed over him and as a result of that inoi um, Eruere was able to speak fluent Māori and the same goes for Praere Paikia Ratana prayed over him and gave him the blessing to be able to articulate the political arena and so just bearing in mind you know these are fellas that are fresh out of war fresh out of farms they know nothing about politics uh, but by the spirit um, of the wairua tapu they are then given the marmatanga to be fluent in the, in the language and fluent in the language of politics uh, so these are some of the stories of our marmatanga and ratana also um, he signified them as two angels going into Solomon Gomorrah so uh, if you can kind of picture that that they were tasked with sort of a specific po process to kind of go in there do God's work and then come straight back out sort of a situation but um, I just to kind of drop that in for tonight and again I always say whanau go out and do your own homework um, don't take what I'm saying as truth you got to go out there and find it for yourself there's a lot of places you can check the Fiti Marma is probably a good place to start. Um, and you've got a couple of other resources here and there. Ngā Aukaranga, not too bad. Um, and then obviously, you know, get into a bit of a kōrero with your apoto, your afina, your kaumātua, kuya, those who are um, keepers of the stories. And um, there are a lot of stories out there um, in terms of what Ratana did in um, various areas. A lot of iwi, a lot of marae hora, a lot of different stories. Um, but I'm um, kind of waffling on, um, going way over my marmatanga in a minute. Um, so, hi. Mihi ano tēnei kia koutou katoa i tēnei rā. Hi, namanaki tamo i hoa ki rongi a tātou. Māu hei tātou kumai a i nia kia.